Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel on this, the second day of January 2024. I thought I'd just um, put on here today, um, <laughs> excuse me, just highlight the fact that I've got a few things for sale on Australia's Gumtree at the moment, which is similar to eBay, I guess. I think they are actually part of eBay anyway, I'm not sure. And I sell cameras and other things from time to time, and I've got a few items listed on on uh, Gumtree at the moment. And uh, I'm mainly limiting myself to selling to people within Australia. And I figured that some of the people that watch this channel from Australia, I'm quite happy to post things to you if you're in another state besides South Australia, or you can come and pick them up from me here. So I'm just going to highlight a few things I've got um, for sale at the moment. Um, the cameras in particular, I'm trying to um, <coughs> downsize <laughs> with cameras and books and uh, all sorts of other things that I've got here. And uh, what I want to try and do is get rid of some of my prized possessions, which really are good to look at, but they're not doing me any good because I don't use them. And uh, sooner or later, you're not going to be able to repair these, particularly the film cameras. I'm only selling some film cameras at the moment. Uh, so I'm going to put them up and um, and I'll show you some of the actual items and I'll also share the screen and go into my Gumtree account as well which is under the name of Jeff Thompson Jeff with a G Thompson with a P and you can look any of all the other items I've got on Australia's Gumtree listed there but I'm going to show you a few of them in a minute anyway okay a little bit of water to stop the coughing we'll see how that goes <laughs> So I'm trying to get rid of some of my really prized possessions because I've got to start somewhere. And if you sell your most favorite items first, well, that means you're serious about getting rid of things. So the first one up, and you'll see, I'm going to cut through to the Gumtree ads in a minute. But my first one I'm going to be selling, and I've done reviews of this camera on, on here before. This is my favorite Pentax MZS. Well, I've got other Pentax cameras that are favorites too, but this was the, the last great um pentax professional 35 millimeter film camera that came out this one's got a battery grip on it as well you can look up my reviews i might be able to put a link underneath on this autofocus does everything i've got a nice lens on here it's a uh, pentax f zoom 28 to 80 f 3.5 to f 4.5 zoom and it's macro as well and it works really well let me just put it up here. See, it moves around quite well. Put it down here. It's got a pop-up flash, which is pretty handy for fill flash. It's got a PC socket. You can put special Pentax uh, uh, flashes on these, which will give you high-speed sync, spot metering. You name it, it's got it. many, many features. I'll just leave that off for the moment. And on top of that, I've got the original, got the original box, and I've also got the original manual here, the Pentax MZS. And if you go through that, there's just all sorts of amazing things you can do with this. One of the interesting things is you can actually um, uh, program this to um, when you rewind the film to not suck all the leader back into the cassette. So it means that you can, and you can actually program it to stop at a certain stage when you're taking a half a roll of film, stop it program it so that when you take that out and put it back in again, it will wind you back to exactly the same spot, which is a useful feature. Uh, if you want to swap films from color to black and white and back and forth, that sort of thing. Um, back button autofocus, a little window in the back there to see it. As I said, amazing features. So I'm going to be selling that. And um, I figure there's someone out there is pretty keen. You know, I'm, I'm mainly um, appealing to the Pentax enthusiasts with that one because I don't know that too many people in Australia have got that camera and even overseas because it came out about the year 2000 or something like that and then the digital came in not long afterwards I did lots of weddings with that camera <coughs> excuse me now there's another little camera here which is this is a beautiful camera this is a, a a Minolta XGM 35 millimeter camera. And I've done reviews of this. If you look on my um, uh, Gumtree ads, you'll see that I've got some samples of photos taken with this as well. But this is a beautiful retro looking 
retro looking because it is retro, <laughs> uh, Minolta uh, XGM. When I was teaching wedding photography years ago, there was a lady who was a bit older than me, Yvonne, came along and she had a couple of these and a whole outfit of lenses. And she did my wedding training course and came with me on a few uh, uh, weddings and help, helped as my assistant. <clears throat> and she had two of these cameras and she got some beautiful results with these cameras. And years later, when she was upgrading, she wanted to sell me the whole kit. And I thought, no, I don't want to buy all that. I, I wish I had of now. <clears throat> but um, there were two two cameras and several lenses and a carry, carry bag. And uh, I just opted just to buy the one camera and the one lens. But this is a beautiful camera. It's in good working condition. Um, you know, look at that. And it's almost in, it's not far off of being in very prime, not mint condition, but very prime condition, hardly a mark on it. So uh, beautiful little camera. That's that one there. It's got a standard lens on it, which is a um, 50 millimeter MD F2 lens, uh, 49 millimeter filter thread. <clears throat> That's that one. I've got a, um, I'm not selling that. What have we got here? I've also got it for sale. I bought this a couple of years ago. This is a Nikon F90 film camera and it's fantastic plastic but it's very chunky very solid beautiful to hold and uh i've got some film in that at the moment i think yeah i have got some film in that at the moment um and i've tested this camera out it works fine you can see it moving around and um <coughs> the um the only thing at fault with this camera is that when I bought it, obviously someone had put a new back on this and it's a it's not a, a nice shiny back. It's a little bit of a matte finish, but but it works fine. It's all good. It's all nice and smooth. And that's the only thing that takes away from the look of it. Everything else is nice and shiny and black. And uh, this is a beautiful camera. And um, so I'm selling that with a 35 to 70 zoom. I want to sell both the zoom and the camera together. I had this up for sale once before and a girl only wanted to buy the lens. So I let her, I had a few of those lenses, so I let her have it. But I want to just sell this lens with this camera at this stage. So that that is a beautiful um, <coughs> programmed autofocus. Got all the settings you could ever think of on this camera. And uh, if you look up the reviews, you'll see the F90 and then it was followed by the F100, the beautiful 35mm film cameras. Pretty much a professional type camera. And this other one here, it's a Pentax FS6N, which uh, I've had about four of these. And I've sold some, and I used to use these on weddings too. These, this was the game changer for me in many ways because it's when autofocus came in and I suddenly realised I could keep shooting photos without having to squint through the, the viewfinder and get the little uh, split image to line up together in the dark, whereas this autofocus saved, saved my day. And kept me going for many years after I probably would have stopped taking photos. Well, maybe not. But this is a beautiful camera. The only problem is, um, what is the only problem with this is, I can't guarantee that it's a 100% work. When I shoot the actual um, shutters, I'll just turn it on. Whoops, what happened then? Mode, what's going on? Now it's going. It wasn't focusing properly, it wasn't locking focus. So that's on uh, 30th of a second at the moment. So if I put that back on uh, in the mode, I'll put it on manual mode. And it should be on 125th of a second now. Single autofocus, servo autofocus. Let's have a look. So you can see there's a few issues with it. To all intents and purposes, though, it is a good camera. I'm, I've got it at a, a lesser price. It's got a, a nice uh, 35 to 105 macro zoom lens. Uh, super multi pentax coated pentax f lens does macro as well f4 f5.6 
So the lens is probably worth more than the camera at the moment, but um, you would have to uh, buy this thinking, well, it might work. <laughs> I can't guarantee it's 100% working properly at the moment, but um, uh, and therefore I'm open to, to negotiation on that. But uh, there's probably not too much wrong with it. And in fact, I think it probably works, but I just haven't tested it lately. So there you go. So that's up for sale. Uh, so there's four cameras there. There's a few other things. I'm going to cut across now to my show you my um, there's more I want to sell during the year. I've got heaps of Pentax lenses that some people in some of the comments and some of my uh, videos where I've reviewed my Pentax camera. So oh, that lens you got there, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, I've got some quite good Pentax uh, A series lenses, M lenses, uh, M42 lenses uh, for sale later on. So let's just see if we can share the screen. And where are we? How do I do that? Share screen. There we go. And then I'm going to just stop that for the minute. And I'm going to come in here. This is my Gumtree listings. Up here you can see Jeff, Jeff Thompson up there. And this is the Pentax that's listed. I'll just go into it, enlarge that. And then you can see there's the box. Beautiful camera. That's my review that's online of that camera. And um, so if we come back to that, let's have a look. Cut that down. And that's that one. So uh, what else have we got here? We go up here to uh, manage ads. So if you see Jeff Thompson, it says I'm highly rated on Gumtree. So you better keep that in mind. So I've got a, an antique print that my wife just said, this is a beautiful print that we got from a print shop a while ago, but we don't have any use for it anymore. Grandpa's favorite, an antique print by Friedrich Eduard Meyerheim. And then we've got the, um, the Minolta one there and Pentax. And then we've got the Pentax FXN and the uh, Nikon F90. I've also got a, uh, a camera here, which doesn't work. I can't get it to work. It's a very quirky camera. It's a uh, Canon AF 35 ML and uh, it's an interesting camera. And uh, if you could get it going, I've got the battery to respond. But um, apart from that, um, I looked up all the pros and cons on it and it's, it's a really nice camera, but I can't get it to work properly. So someone You'd have to buy that with a view that you're going to fix it. <laughs> that one there. So let's go back here. What else have I got for sale? Got a cassette tapes, a set of cassette tapes on Blue Hills, which is a radio serial from years ago. I've got some, um, I've got a lot of cassettes, music cassettes here. Kenny Rogers, 60s and 50s compilations. Uh, $6 a tape, I think they are. Got a couple of huge big um, books here. Let's get up into here. One is Webster's Universal Dictionary. That's a huge big uh, uh, book there. And Matthew Henry's commentary on the whole Bible. It's um, it's needs a little bit of work on the side. I mean, it's come away from the hinges there. There's a bit of tape there. But if you're into studying the Bible, these are pretty good prices. And the Webster's Dictionary is is quite amazing. Huge big volume, and sure you can look stuff up online, but there's nothing like having a, a decent um, reference book in your library, is there? I still believe in actual hard cover, proper book libraries, which I've got heaps of books here. Yeah, and then there's a photo Photix Mitros flash gun for a Nikon that belonged to my son. It boots up and fires, but I can only get it to work intermittently on my Nikon cameras. I don't think there's too much wrong with it. But because I can't get it to go properly, I'm selling it for $30 or I'm open to offers. But it's a beautiful flash to look at. But look that one up there. We go to page two. <coughs> what do we got there? We've got a couple of bird or a bird book by Michael Morkheim, the great Australian bird finder. That's a classic book. The Warner Brothers story, which is a whole big coffee table book on all the um the story of the Warner Brothers film studio and all the movies they made. Let's see if I can get in here and show you some pictures. That's a nice big book. Lots of interesting facts, pictures, stories. 
Well, the film buffs, that's a good one to have. Uh, what else have we got? Copper's Cricket Team of Cockatoo Valley. So that's only $10. That's a nice little um, limited edition book. There weren't too many of them printed, a, a softback uh, book about the early days of farming in South Australia and Victoria, I think, and uh, a family. It's a family book showing their history. The Baby Boomers by Helen Townsend. That's a, a wonderful book. If you're a baby boomer and you want to relive your baby boomer past, uh, have a look at that book. That's a good little book. And then we've got all these cat plates. We collected all these cat plates for many years and they're all got they're all limited edition ones or all got certificates of, of uh, authenticity and uh, we've had these for quite a while we used to buy them we had them stuck up all over the place but we're ready to ask them on and then for the there's a nice wooden tapestry fire screen here uh, just show you that if you're looking for something to put over your fireplace if you've got an old-fashioned fireplace it's a nice wooden tapestry one and uh, that's been in the family for so I don't know where we got that one from actually, but that's that's a nice nice thing to have if you've got an old fashioned fireplace. Um, where are we now? Let's get back there. And then I've got a book by Ken Duncan, The Last Frontier, and one by Richard Waldendorp, who's a famous Australian photographer and landscape photographer, and an LP by Prince. And the revolution around the world lp inner visions by stevie wonder um i've got lots of lps here and i have sold a few um and i'm but the trouble is i don't have a proper space here to run a proper ebay shop or gumtree shop i've got junk everywhere as you can see that's 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 only a small portion of what's hidden here amongst all the boxes and things so uh, i've got a lot of stuff that i sell from time to time and i enjoy doing that i'm going to stop the sharing now and come back so there you go. That's a little bit of what's for sale and what's on offer. Um, you'll find on those Gumtree ads, you'll find my contact mobile phone number if you want to get in touch with me. My way of dealing with people when I sell things on Gumtree is we might do a bit of dialogue back and forth on the uh, messaging system, but I don't ever really deal with people or give out details or addresses until I've actually spoken to people because I want to know it's a real person and I want to know that they really have a proper interest in what they're wanting to buy and they're not just a scammer so there you go that's how i operate but uh you'll see that i am highly rated on gumtree and that's because i like to do the right thing by people so there you go thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you wish but better still ring me up and see if you want to buy one of those things um because i'm, I'm getting pretty nervous about that pentax mzs i might if i don't sell it within a couple of weeks i might just withdraw it from sale because it's very precious so there you go thanks see you later